Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how we should assign a license to our Office 365 user in order to prevent any data losses. So let's get started. So whenever we wish to change a license of a user account or upgrade a license or downgrade a subscription for a user, uh, we will have to make sure that we do it pretty neatly and carefully because if we don't perform it correctly, there could be data loss. And when I say data loss, uh, the entire mailbox could get deleted in this process. So uh, for us to do it properly, so let me just show you the best way in order to change a subscription of a user account. So uh, we'll go into the admin center. So for uh, example, this admin user which we see here, um, for now uh, we have the subscription on this account as E5 developer, which basically have Exchange Online Plan 2 license assigned to it. And uh, if I have or if I want to downgrade it to a subscription which has Exchange Online Plan 1, I will have to do it very carefully. These measures are to be taken whenever we upgrade, downgrade a subscription. Uh, when you have a fresh user created, you don't have to worry about this part. You can just create the user or sign a license and go ahead. But if you wish to downgrade a subscription, or upgrade from a low end subscription you will have to make sure that this process where we toggle the subscription is done the same way which I'm doing here on the screen so for example this uh, as you can see I have this subscription turned on right now and for example this will be a low end subscription which has exchange online plan one and this one has exchange online plan too. And I wish uh, to change from a higher end subscription to a lower end. So uh, what I will do is I will uncheck this one, check this one, and then hit save changes. That will create or allocate the space accordingly. However, it does have a thing to consider. So if your mailbox is already having more than 50 gigabytes of data and then you try to move it to a lower plan which only have 50 gigs of data then there would be issue and all the data which are more than 50 gigs will be lost so you will have to take care of that part as well uh, you can enable an archive move the data to the archive and then try to switch this but uh, make sure that the archive data is still 50 gigs, not more than that. And uh, coming back to this scenario, uh, you can uh, toggle them one after the other and then hit save. Uh, what happens when you not do that? So for example, uh, I had this subscription turned on already and I wanted this subscription to be activated for this user or I don't have a subscription which I want to give this to the user yet I go ahead and change the subscription remove the subscription from here for this user save changes and then I go back get a new subscription and come back to this place and for example this would be the new subscription which I wanted to add I go ahead and assign this and hit save changes so what happens here is this will basically create a brand new mailbox and all the data which were there in the exchange online plan to mailbox will be deleted for example it's like a first in first out scenario you had a user you removed a license which had exchange online plan to or plan one okay and uh, once you remove the license, the mailbox goes into an uh, inactive state, which is also known as soft deleted state. 
so that mailbox is still there and then uh, once you hit save changes that mailbox will be still there however if you go ahead and assign a license which has a different plan as compared to the previous one which has been unassigned earlier what it does it it creates a new mailbox and then it pushes out the mailbox which is there in the soft deleted state and the brand new mailbox be it exchange online plan to mailbox or an exchange online plan one mailbox it will be provisioned and all the data which were there in the soft deleted mailbox will get deleted so this is why uh, changing of the licenses has to be taken care uh, whenever you wish to toggle change any of the licenses within the admin 365 you do it one by one switch them to uh, whatever changes which you like and then hit save and not by removing it saving the changes getting the new license enabling it and saving the changes as i mentioned uh, it will work as first in first out first mailbox which was there will be in the soft deleted as the licenses was removed and then it will get kicked out by the new mailbox which will be generated later with the new license so please consider this and uh, do make sure whenever you wish to change a subscription or upgrade a subscription or downgrade a subscription from plan 2 to plan 1 be it exchange online plan 1 sharepoint online plan 1 to plan 2 from 2 to 1 or any plans uh, make sure you do them simultaneously and then hit save so that's it guys for today uh, do let me know how it goes for you uh, do let me know if you have any question about it uh, until then you have a nice day bye bye take care